Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki, known here as the One Handed Bandit. And in today's video, I will be showcasing some of my favorite lip gloss or I would say nude lip combos for brown skin. I noticed that um, I have a video on my channel featuring the crayon case lipsticks and those that video did really really well on my channel so I'm figuring you know my audience seems to like lip swatch videos so I decided to do one of those today so I'm only going to feature maybe about five today so if you're interested in some nude lip combos for brown skin then keep watching so I currently have the Fenty Beauty lip balm on my lips currently. I also exfoliated my lips just to get them ready for this video. I know my lips are going to be hating me after this. But let's start with these swatches. I wiped off that Fenty balm just because sometimes that balm can change the formulation of the lipstick or the matte liquid lipstick so i'm going to start with one of my bullet lipsticks and this is by anastasia beverly hills and it is in the shade honey this is what this lipstick looks like so i normally pair this with a brown liner so i'm going in with my old faithful brown liner which is MAC Chestnut I'm going in with Honey by Anastasia Beverly Hills So this is Honey by Anastasia Beverly Hills with the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. So next up I do have a new combination that I've been using and this lip liner is by Makeup Forever and this is in the shade Limitless Brown. So I'm just going to line my lips. So this is with Limitless Brown and I'm going to pair this with a new combo that I've been doing lately. This is by Pat McGrath and this is in the shade Faux Real. This is more of a deeper nude because I because the gloss is uh, very thin it doesn't give uh, that much coverage on the lips but it also gives shine it gives you that you know that juicy lip gloss that you <laughs> that you get from a lip gloss that's what this Pat McGrath lip gloss does and so it really works well with a brown liner it's perfect for every day and this combination again is Limitless Brown with Pat McGrath Faux Real. The next combo is using another Pat McGrath product and this is the Pat McGrath Lip Liner in the shade Ground Control. So this is Pat McGrath Ground Control. It looks a little messy right now. It looks like I overdrawn, but you'll see the outcome in a moment. I know I've mentioned a few times before on my channel that I love the Artist Couture lip glosses and one of my favorite shades is the shade Shameless. But another one that comes second to that is the Artist Couture gloss in this, this shade Uncensored 2.0. And I'm just going to apply this. So 
So this is Artist Couture Uncensored 2.0 and Pat McGrath Ground Control. I know all of these combinations are starting to look pretty much the same, but if you look at the glosses, for instance, the Artist Couture and the Pat McGrath, if you look at them together, see if my camera will focus I don't know if you can tell but the artist couture lip gloss gives off of a more a grayish undertone where this one gives more of a peachy undertone so it all depends on the preference of the person wearing the lipstick or the gloss but me I love mauves rosy pinky nudes and I love to pair them with brown liners. So that's just my personal preference. Some people prefer pinky undertone. I have just two more to show you. And with these, I can wear them without lip liners. So the first one is uh, a MAC lip glass. And this is in the shade Heart Melter. And this is what the packaging looks like. I'm not sure if this st is still being sold or if Heart Melter is still available in a different type of packaging. But this one came out with the uh, the Cherry Blossom collection that came out with that came out with the Fix Plus that also came out with the same type of packaging. So this is one of my favorites as well. I know I can always throw this on and not worry about anything. So this is Heart Melter by MAC. And as I mentioned, this is a rosy pink undertone lip gloss. And as you can see, it pairs well by itself. It's very comforting on the lips and if you try to MAC lip glass, you pretty much know how they feel. But as far as the shade, you would double you would have to double check the MAC website to see if it's still available. I'm not 100% sure, but I hope you all are able to find it. So last but not least is as I mentioned my favorite lip gloss which is by artist couture in the shade shameless i love this lip gloss if it wasn't twenty dollars i would probably wear it 24 7. mac daddy from artist couture if you're watching this please send me over a hundred of these lip glosses And this is Shameless by Artist Couture. So if you're not into makeup, you're probably wondering, okay, she applied 10 lipsticks and lip glosses and they all look the same. But if you're a makeup lover, you do notice undertones and whether something is rosy, it's pinky, it's mauve, it's terracotta. That's how you determine, you know, what type of lip gloss and undertone that you prefer for me you can see that this is pretty similar to the mac lip glass it's just that the mac one is much lighter i love this one it has the artist couture lip glosses they seem to have like a a minty feel like you know if you had bad breath you know it gives you that little bit of you know kick a little bit of freshness it also gives you a perfect glow it's not too glossy it's not sticky at all. That is it for today's video. I just wanted to hop on and show you some of my favorite nude lip combos, glosses, and lipsticks, and liners, and how I pair them. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed, and be sure to click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.